What's poppin' guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, please do subscribe down below, smash the like, hit the bell, those things help out a lot. As you guys can see, we're indoors, but we're gonna go outdoors in a minute. Today's episode is a special one, it's all about ladybugs. Everyone knows that ladybugs are a great form of biological control, great predator insects, they kill all the aphids, thrips, spider mites, they kill a lot of bugs. So a lot of people know that they're a popular option to deal with these bugs, to bring them into the garden and they can deal with them. But there are a few things that you need to know before you just bring them in and let them run wild. Did you know that you need to make a home for them? And they need a food source? And they need all sorts of stuff? Well, in today's episode, we're gonna go through everything. Because I don't want you to copy your ladybugs and then just end up wasting them all because they die or fly away. So in today's episode, like I said, we're gonna go through all that. So smash the freaking like, hit the bell. Guys, join up with all the YouTube channel members if you haven't already. Click the join button down below. We've got a lot going on down there. But let's get into the ladybugs, fam. Yes, guys. Now, you may be wondering, where exactly do you cop these ladybugs? Where do you get them? Do you get them out in the garden? Do I go and pick them off the plants and try to find a few of them? Well, no. You can actually get them online. That's where I got mine. I got like 1,500 of them on Amazon, and they got shipped to my door, and they're all alive. And uh, crazily enough, you just pop them in the fridge until you're ready to use them. So that's where they are chilling right now. We're going to go in there and see it in just a bit. But there are a few things that you need to know before you just let them run wild. And one of the things is that you don't want it to be hot and sunny out. So like right now, it's really nice and cloudy perfect. it's not too hot so it's a perfect time to do it a lot of the times you got to do it either early in the morning or in the late evening when the sun is not directly out after a long travel your ladybugs could be a little bit tired and stressed out so they may need a drink of water maybe sometimes some food as well and there's something really neat that you can give them to eat and that'll just help them through until they can feast on all the bugs in your plant now ladybugs are predator insects and they feast on spider mites aphid thrips a lot of stuff like that so it's a really great biological control option if you want to stay away from insecticides fungicides and that's sort of stuff then this is for you but you want to make sure you get them in there right so they can form a proper colony and they could do the job that they're meant to do which is get rid of all those bad freaking bugs right but like i said they're in the fridge right now chilling out so let's head on over there and see what's going on with them Bruh. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, we've got the ladybugs here. It came in a box, it's, it's literally got instructions. So the, the ladybugs, the buddy bugs, they're in this little box. Some of them are moving around. I literally just took them out of the fridge. Uh, in there, they're really moving around. Some of them are already starting to activate. So we're gonna just show you guys how to make a home and pop these into the home so they can get acquainted. They'll want a drink. They're probably super thirsty, a little hungry as well. So we've got a food source there for them as well. And we're just gonna really uh, make everything nice for them so they can do their jobs like I said now you can store these in the fridge for up to a few weeks before you're until you're ready to use them you don't want to freeze them uh, you can also just throw some water on the bag and let them drink but you don't want to put a wet bag in the fridge either that's that's bad now when it comes to the actual ladybugs the smaller ones tend to eat a lot more of the uh, the insects and the bugs and the bad bugs and stuff they just go crazy but some of the bigger ones they just they don't do too much of the moving around you know they they like the food to come to them so um it's nice to have a little mixture sometimes you get big ones sometimes you get small ones but like you guys can see they love mealybugs aphids spider mites a lot of soft-bodied insects and these guys are ready to go so uh let's let's get into this and i'll show you guys how to get all this done <laughs> yes homies so here we are we got everything that we need set up basically to give the ladybugs a home make everything happy for them so they can go about their job and do what we need them to do so here we've got the ladybugs we've got a simple bone sponge i picked this up for like a buck fifty at a car wash store or whatever um we've got some great value raisins i got this from walmart great right the raisins are actually what they're going to feed on it's a great food store for them um, especially if you're just going to pop them into something else in the meanwhile here we've got just some pure water some regular water and we've got a little container to pop the water in just th just so we can get the sponge soaking wet not too wet though but you'll see um, and we've got a little humidity dome here a lot of you guys will know about this humidity dome great for uh, propagation starting starting stuff in and stuff like that so it's pretty straightforward all these stuff are stuff that you guys are definitely quite probably have at home already so you won't have to go too far to get them if you do you probably just got to go to the supermarket grab a pack of raisins you want a sponge you don't want like a kitchen sponge with the rough side on one side and the other side soft you would just want like just just sponge so this could work uh you can also get like uh some of those bath sponges and stuff like that that works as well so um you got options man 
Now I'm not sure if you guys can really see, but these ladybugs are in here and they're really moving around. They're ready to get out of here. So we're gonna go and try to make this home for them. And guys, what I'm actually gonna try to do is split this uh, pack of ladybugs between my indoor and my outdoor garden. Now this is uh, 1500 ladybugs 1500 ladybugs are in here i'm not sure if any of them died or anything but it says that these 1500 ladybugs should cover a thousand square foot space so we'll see how it goes i'm gonna probably just put a few uh indoors and put the rest outdoors because you guys would have seen my aphid infestation outdoors i got a really bad aphid infestation going on with the rose bush just over there so we're trying to stay away from it but we're trying to help it at the same time now most times guys if you're bringing in biological control you want to make sure to maintain a balance of a few pests for food enough to keep the ladybugs in check you don't want to have too many ladybugs not enough pests because things can go sideways the ecosystem goes out of whack you know what i'm trying to say so sometimes growers will actually just take a spoonful out put it on there plants and pop the rest back in the fridge these can literally last in the fridge for days fam but I, but like i said i've got a pretty bad infestation outdoors so i'm going to pop most of them outdoors and pop some of them on my indoor plants as well now a lot of times you want to sprinkle or just irrigate the water a little bit just before releasing the ladybug so that they have a drink of water after the long journey like they literally travel in the box and come all the way to you most of the time guys unless you go down by a garden store and cop some like yeah that's how they come to you in this box and like i also said earlier you don't want to do it when the sun is super hot when it's really bright over top like you don't want to do it then so wait until it's evening time if it's overcast all day like it is now then you can really get it done but other than that you want to wait till the early morning or the night time but that's enough talking let's make this home for these ladybugs and let's get the rest of them out here on to that freaking infested rosebud bush Okay guys, now for those of you who may be wondering why I need to build a home for my ladybugs, especially if you're growing indoor guys, ladybugs need a home. If not, they will just walk around your plants, they'll get fed up of it and they'll want to go somewhere else and a big ass fly just flew out here and that's disgusting. Bruh. Bruh. Especially for indoor growers guys, if you want to get ladybugs in as a form of biological control, it's oftentimes really beneficial to have a little home for them because they can't just live in your plants. A lot of times they like moist areas. If it's not really too moist, then they might find difficulty living in there and stuff like that. So you just want to make it happy for them and they can consistently protect your plants from any pests. A lot of pests may lay eggs and larvae into the soil like fungus gnats. So it's like a cycle and you want to make sure that these little critters are there so that they can keep that cycle at the minimum guys. You can still put these uh little little homes for them outdoors as well because i mean they're smart guys they'll 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 go to it man so let's get straight into making the home guys it's really easy this is basically going to be their home sometimes you can get the ones with the little spacers up top like i've got here you want to make sure that the ladybugs can actually get through so these slightly smaller spacers may not be ideal but i'ma just work around it by cracking the humidity dome just like that just a little bit you know so we can get out on both sides uh like i said i'm gonna pour some water in here get the sponge wet this will serve as a moisture source and a source of water for the ladybugs. Super important, guys. This holds water and it'll get them uh, drinking nicely. The ladybugs themselves, super important. And the uh, food source. So let's get everything set up and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do it. Okay, guys. Awesome. So we've got our water. This is literally what we're going to use. This is just some tap water that I let sit for a little while. But of course, you can grab gallon bottles as well. Um, just pour it straight into there. Just enough water so you can get the sponge nice and wet. That's what she said. Pop that sponge open. I'm gonna just cut the sponge in half just so it's a little easier to work with. We got two evenly sized pieces. You don't have to do this, but I just thought it'd be a little easier to do it from squeeze it to get some water in and get excess water out of there. Okay, really easy, nice stuff. For the ladybugs, critters, you guys can see they're moving around there super quickly, like they're ready to get out of there. Now all this is, like I said, keep saying, is just a humidity dome. Uh, if you've got the spacers in here for the cubes to sit in, then you could just take that that layer out and just have it like this. Uh, you grab your water source, pretty straightforward guys. Squeeze out some of the excess water and you can just put a little bit of it there and, and drop that down on there, right? Really easy, simple stuff guys. Next you wanna grab your raisins, grab a pack of these bad boys. You only need a few, you don't need a whole, whole lot. You guys can see these are just some raisins. And I'm gonna pop these down on the other end. Pop a few of them on there. And your next step will be to pretty much release these babies into the uh, 
into their home. This is pretty much going to be their home. If you want, you can mist inside of here with a little spray bottle just so that uh, it's nice and moist and humid for them. Pretty much like I'm going to do here, I'm going to just grab a random spray bottle with some water and I'm going to just spray a little bit on the inside there just to get a little bit of humidity going. Okay guys, so we're pretty much going to go ahead and release them now. Um, I'm going to keep a few of them in here, like I said, so once some of them get inside of here, I'm going to take them out and put them down in the grow room and I'm going to pop these, the rest of them, on the uh, rosebud. As you guys can see, that's the rosebud plant looking a little sad, but hopefully help is on the way. But let's deal with this first. Okay guys, so you want to be really careful when you're opening the bags, you don't want to uh, kill any of the ladybugs, as you guys can see they're already running all the way up, ready to get out of here. Survival of the fittest, I can't wait to get out of here guys. <laughs> but we're just gonna um, pop them all into here, make a home for them, and uh, that's that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna have to cut the top of this bag, I'm, I'm gonna have to make sure there's no ladybug casualties, but as you guys can see they're all in here and i don't want them to fly out too crazily so let's be super careful with how we cut this oh there's almost a casualty now i'm just playing it's all good oh those babies are out already you guys can see they, they're really coming out they couldn't wait to get out of there we got one on here already come on here little little fella come on come on oh you guys can see he's out here we got a few of them, they're already out, they'll soon find their water sauce and all that. Let's show you guys what's going on. You guys can see they're literally going straight to the sponge. They want some water, they want some drink. A few of them already going across to get down in those raisins. They're hungry. A few of them just want to fly out of here. So, you gotta be careful so they don't just go flying everywhere. Um, I really should take this out now. So there are a few in here, I can let these go into the... Uh, the grow room and the rest that in the bag I'm probably gonna put just at the base and it'll work its way up. Like guys, can you see how many of them are literally going for those raisins? They really love those raisins guys. <laughs> Great food source. Okay guys, so now that I've got quite a few of them in here as the home, I'm gonna take the bag and whatever's left in there, it looks like it may be uh, three quarter left in the bag maybe, so I'm gonna pop that at the bottom of the rosebuds. Hopefully that helps them out. So let's just do that right now. As you guys can see, I've got it here. They're walking all over my hands, but this is the infected rosebud plant and we need to get it, get them on there, man. Just, just really get them on there. They'll, they'll make their way up there and they'll find them. I can uh, just sort of throw some of them on there as well. So I'm gonna just throw a few of them on, pop them on, just to help with an really nice distribution of uh, those ladybugs many guys like if you guys can actually see some of these up here right now I'm gonna just let these all walk on to this part having them walk all over my hand is so creepy uh, but they're loving it they're already on there they're already on there let's share some of the love across here as well literally just flying straight off and landing onto the plant and like attacking these mofos dude Got a few of them on the floor here as well. It's my shades, it fell. But um, they're gonna make their way up the plant for sure. Just get them all out here. Okay, so I think I've got a fair amount of them out here. Out here right now on the plant. They're literally finding all sorts of stuff. They're crawling everywhere. I think I gotta get some more on though, but uh, I just helped that homie get onto the leaf. You guys see that? I'm a good guy. See if we can get some of them on here as well. Shake them on, shake them on. There's still a few of them in the bag. I may just pop this bag back into the uh the other home because you know it may not be a bad idea to do that but there are quite a few you can even see them down <laughs> down all down here so they'll make their way up the plant they'll find that food and they'll uh eat that stuff up <laughs> like look, look at these guys up here they ain't moving they ain't moving
let's check on the uh Let's check on the home that we made and see what's going on in here. A lot of them are super thirsty, they're drinking water. Sometimes you'll actually want to sprinkle some water on the plant before you do this, but it, it actually drizzled just a little bit earlier. There's a little bit of rain, so I didn't want to uh, have things too wet, but usually you just sprinkle a little bit of water straight onto the plant right before you do this, and uh, the ladybugs will drink that and Enjoy the food, man. These critters love walking on my hands, dude. Hey, friend. Hey, homie. What's poppin', fam? What's good? Hit a dab. Smoke a J. What's, what's poppin'? So I'ma just pop uh, pop what's left in the bag. It doesn't look like very much at all. I'ma just pop those back in here. Close it up. And I'ma chill out with this guy. What you saying, little homie? Oh, he flew away. Okay guys, so as you can see, they're literally all on the plant, doing their job. In those thrips and aphids, actually it's just aphids I think. But as you guys can see, they're literally there, stomping around man. And there's so many more of these aphids, but we've got a lot of ladybugs on the plant. And sometimes guys, you can just grab a little spray bottle, and before you put them on, or even after you put them on, just spray the leaves a little bit so that there's a little bit of water on the leaves. The ladybugs can drink some of that water if they need to. But look at these guys here, man. These guys are loving this shit. Bruh. He's like, no, give me that. That's mine. Like, guys, there's enough to share. There's enough to go around, I promise. See, there's a casualty, guys. Sometimes they, they, they come out dead. Sometimes it happens. These guys up here. They hungry. We hungry. As you guys can see, they're all over that sponge. They're really drinking that water, getting down in that water. Uh, seems that they were really thirsty after the long trip. Some of them are just chilling out there by the water and not even moving. Uh, just move them around to make sure they're alive. Yep, they're moving. And uh, seems that no one's really eating any of the raisins anymore. Guys, and now you can see they're a little bit hungry, so they're going after those raisins. And there's still a few of them on the uh, on the sponge, so it means they're pretty thirsty as well. A food source and a water source. Now let's take them inside. Okay guys, so as you can see, they're still in the home. A few of them are just chilling there, really eating all these raisins. A few of them are drinking some water, chilling out. Found themselves on the plants, you know, all over the plants. So, um, really nice to see. Really nice to see. Smash the freaking like, hit the bell, and uh, check this out. This video is brought to you by Mars Hydro where they have a variety of grow lights and grow tents for growers of all experience levels. Whether you're a small home grower or setting up a slightly bigger commercial operation, they have the tents and lights for you. They have tents for every space and need, including the new 2-in-1 tents. And they also have a wide variety of lights to choose from, including full spectrum LED and the new detachable FCE series. Links to all of the products that we use on this channel, including the Mars Hydro Grow Lights, are in the description below. Be sure to use the links below to support the ICANN THC channel. You can also save a few bucks on the Mars Hydro website by using the code ICANN THC at checkout for store-wide savings. Don't forget to use the code and save yourself a few bucks. Now, back to the video.